Welcome to day 17. We're gonna be showing you how to edit wedding images. Honestly, the big thing here, we wanna make them look as romantic as possible. So we're gonna be using the new lens blur within Lightroom Classic to knock out that background, add more attention to our subject, and we're gonna put a little bit of color grading that's gonna make it look beautiful. Let's jump in. So here we are with our wedding image. Our couple looks fantastic, and the background's already a little bit out of focus, but you know what? We are in our develop module, and I've got this lens blur, and I'm just dying to use it because it's really great. So let's go ahead and open up lens blur. Now within lens blur, you have a lot of options. We're gonna go ahead and hit apply here, and you can see it's gonna automatically detect your subject, and it gave our black background a little bit of blur. Now, the first big tip that I recommend doing is right over here where it says a focus range. Okay, we're gonna go to the right-hand side and we're gonna wanna make sure we go to this little target icon. So click that, click on that. And then you go over top of your image and then you, what you wanna do is you wanna click and drag a rectangle around your subject. Boom. And when you do that, it's going to perfectly target your subject, making sure they're in focus and it's gonna knock that background out of focus beautifully. So that's how you wanna do it. Now. Here at the very top of our lens blur, we have a blur amount, okay? And here's where you can just adjust your blur amount. So if I go all the way down to zero, this is what it looked like out of camera, okay? And we can just keep on going and get a crazy blurred effect. Now you don't, usually you don't wanna go too, too far, but somewhere right about there is gonna look great. I think this looks fantastic. Now you have a lot of other features. You can change what the bokeh looks like and things like this. Honestly, I like the standard one a little bit better. And we're going to be going over all this stuff in the future when we have an episode just on lens blur. But honestly, if you just hit apply, you use this target and go right over your subjects and then adjust your blur about. That's like 90% of what you need to know for the lens blur. All right. I think that looks great. Next thing we're going to do, let's draw a little bit more attention to our subjects here. It's already a beautiful photo. We're going to brighten them up a little bit. So we're going to go to our masking. There we go. And I'm not going to go to select people. Okay. What we're going to do is going to go to our radial gradient and then we're going to click and drag out with this radial gradient and we're going to bring our feathering down. We're going to talk about the importance of feathering. There we go to make sure we're just focusing on our subject. So we're going to make that nice and large and we're going to go ahead and bring up our exposure just a little bit. I think it looks great. Okay. So this is my recommended. I do recommend go ahead and create your radial gradient and use a low feathering. And then you want to make sure you dial in your feathering. Okay. In the past, honestly, I used to just keep my feathering at 100% for everything that I did, but now I'm learning the value of really dialing it in, and it allows me to get just the effect that I want, and we're going for something natural. That looks great. Let's just turn this off and on. The goal here is you don't want to be able to tell that you just added like a bright spot in the middle of the photo, right? So you want it to look natural. The before and afterwards, like if I, didn't, if I didn't tell you that I brightened up the middle of the photo, you might not know. And that's kind of the goal, okay? Now we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna create a little bit of a vignette around the edges of the image. And then this is just gonna help us look right at our subjects. Again, it's their special day, right? We want them to be the focus of this image. So we're gonna create a new mask here. We're gonna go down to a radial gradient once more. We're gonna go ahead, we'll reduce our feathering. There we go, and click and drag out just like this, okay? This is gonna be for the outside. So if you wanna affect the outside of your radial gradient, then when you wanna invert it, okay? You can do that by going to the radial, radial gradient here in the mask, dot, 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 and go to invert. There we go. So now as you can see, it's gonna affect the outside of the mask, or you can go right over here where it says radial gradient, and you can click on this invert icon, okay? So where you have your feathering slider, you're also gonna have this invert icon. So now you're gonna see it's gonna affect the outside. We're gonna go ahead and lower the exposure just a little bit. Don't have to go super strong on this. And then at the end, that's when you wanna introduce your feathering and really just get that, look at that, beautiful, 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 okay? So you don't just wanna leave this feathering all the way up at 100 all the time. You wanna make sure you dial this in specific for every single time you use it and you get a much more natural effect. Look at this, there's a before and after. There we go. Let's turn all these masks off and on. See, two radial gradients and bam, it makes such a nice difference. Okay, I love it. Now, the last thing what we're gonna do is a little bit of color grading and we wanna keep this nice and subtle. So here on our color grading tab, we're gonna open this up 
and we have our midtones, our shadows, and our highlights. So here's how we use this. Basically, you have this little point in the middle. I'm gonna start by clicking and dragging it out. Now, I like to drag it all the way out to the very edge to start with, and then I take this other point right here, and this allows me to change the hue. So I can just turn and rotate this so I can get the hue that I actually want. And then once I feel like I found a place where it's like, oh yeah, I like that color, then I go ahead and make this way less saturated, okay? Because we want these effects to be subtle. So go ahead and increase the saturation and then find the right hue and then decrease the saturation again. We're gonna do that two more times. So we'll do it for the shadows. So our shadows, let's go ahead and take the center point. We're gonna drag it all the way out to the edge. You can see here, let's click on this eyeball right there, before and after. So we've increased, we've introduced a color now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna change the hue by clicking and dragging on this outside little icon right here. We're gonna click and drag around there to see what we liked, you know? I mean, this is such a beautiful photo. We like it all, right? Ooh, that kind of like bluish looks good. Kind of like that. Yeah, there we go. I don't know, the green, I'm just so torn. There we go, I like that blue. But now we click on this little guy here and we make it more subtle. Okay, that's, that's the important thing to remember, subtlety. All right, here we have our highlights. So again, we're gonna go right out to the very edge, okay? We're gonna go, we're gonna just click on this little color here and go right around the whole color wheel. We're just gonna go in a big circle and this helps you decide like what looks good. And I'm like, ooh, that looks really good there. And now we just wanna kind of bring it back down and make it more subtle until we get something like this. Now, we have this entire color grading dialogue and I have an eyeball right here. So I can just turn this off and on and we can see, you know what? I think that looks beautiful. Nice and subtle. It's still got some coloring in there, but we're keeping it subtle. I think that's just a beautiful romantic photo. Like wedding photos in general, they lend themselves to color grading. You don't have to do it on all of them, but you know, just a little bit of that color grading adds a romantic touch. And I personally love it. And that's really all there is to it. So let's go ahead and show you the before and the after. We're gonna hit this slash key. Boom, there's our before and after look at that difference that we made before and after i mean that lens blur come on how beautiful is that right we're looking more at our subjects because we added a radial gradient to make them brighter we added another radial gradient to make the background darker and we did that little bit of coloring you can see just a couple of minutes and we got a big change in our image looks fantastic thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to join us for tomorrow. We've got more amazing Lightroom content coming up for you. Thanks again, and I'll learn you later. Bye, everyone.